Good morning and welcome back to another vlog. I got rid of my cold but replaced it with a very annoying tickly cough. Because of my cold last week I spent the week getting up at 7 instead of 6 but I'm back on the 6 o'clock early get ups this week which means I had two cakes in the oven before the school run this morning. So they went in at half 7 and came out at half 8. It is now nearly half 9. I can't put any more cakes in yet because I've got a dentist appointment at 10 past 10 and they are fitting my crown. So the last dentist appointment I had, they filed the tooth down and then today they're fitting the crown. What did you miss last week? Um, three cakes. One was a semi-naked, semi-gold cake. We delivered that and set that up pretty locally at a place called Higher Trap. I also had a half and half cake, which was half Harry Potter unicorn and half Guess How Much I Love You, which I filmed for a tutorial. And then we had a gothic cake. I had some fun with that one because she, she gave me free reign. She just said purple, black, purple roses, black icing and skulls. So I made this black on black cake, which is also another tutorial. And now we have this week. So what am I doing this week? I have got a World of Warcraft cake. That's just a two-tier wedding cake that we're delivering on Saturday. I also have an 25th anniversary cake. We are still designing that as of today. I'm also setting a naked cake up on Saturday. I don't do many naked cakes. I find them more stressful than actual tiered, ganached, sugar paste wedding cakes. Because there's no ganache or sugar paste to hold the cake in so they slide around on the jam layers. But I'm pretty sure it was for, um, I think it was the mum that said she was going to make her daughter the naked wedding cake. And I don't know if she's looked into it and thought, oh, this is a bit harder than I thought. So she's booked me in to do it. So yeah, two deliveries on Saturday. The dentist today, not much else happening, I don't think. My cake stuff order has just arrived. So I will open that when I get back from the dentist and then continue with Baking Tuesday. I am back from the dentist. My face is still a little bit numb. So my mouth might look a bit weird. But I had my crown fitted on this side and then she started a root canal on this side. But it wasn't fully numb, so she couldn't do the whole root canal. You know those horrible barbed wire things that they shove up your tooth? She kept pushing that in and I could feel it hitting like a nerve or something. <laughs> that was pretty bad. So this will get finished off at next appointment. I told you I was there nearly every week. And then she handed me a bag of teeth. So the last time I was there, she shoved something in my mouth and said, bite. So I'm assuming that that's what that was, which takes a mould of your teeth. And then there's all these weird things. So if you ever wanted to know what my teeth look like, <laughs> then those are them. See, there's like an overlapped tooth there. I would love to get that straightened out, but that's going to cost a fortune. So yeah, the first thing I did is come back. Let me flip you around. And I made a cup of tea because the taste that it's left in my mouth is absolutely disgusting. So I've got my chips and chicken nuggets in the oven. They should be ready in a minute. And then I better get that cake order unpacked. So in this box, we've got my regular, well, my now regular white cashew sugar paste. Cannot fault this at the minute. I'm always wary of trying something new, but this one I have stuck with because it's really good. In this box, we've got all the coloured sugar paste. So I buy pretty much all the different colours. Then there's a bag of goodies. I have no idea what the neighbour is doing. Anyway, so I bought these um, different dusts. So I've got Metallic Sunny Savannah. I don't think I've had this one before. I bought some pearl white because this is always good for mixing with all different colours to lighten them a bit. So I got a couple of those. And then I got some golden sands, which pretty much looks the same. Oh, I got three of the pearl white. Oh no, I didn't. This one's called Starlight Comic White. <laughs> Not sure what the difference is. And a pot of royal icing. This is perfect to have in the cupboard just for sticking the odd decoration on so you don't have to make a whole big batch of it. Yep, that's all I got this time. So I have another box to open. I have absolutely no idea what's in it, but it was a surprise sent by another cake maker. I hope I get her name right. I'm sure it's Yuka. I might be pronouncing that wrong. She follows me over on Instagram. So I get 
questions daily, whether that's on the YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, email, I even had a phone call the other day. I'm answering questions daily for people struggling with various different things. And the lovely Yuka asked if she could actually send something to me because I've answered a few of her questions which I think is just so lovely. I was surprised when the box turned up, it's quite a big box. There we go. So I've taken the labels off it because obviously her address is on there and my address is on there. But I, it's still completely sealed and I haven't opened it yet so we're going to open it and see what's inside. So yeah, this box has come all the way from Tokyo which is just insane. I don't think I've ever had anything from Tokyo before. It's quite hard to get into. Oh, right, so we've got a little card or a letter first. So I shall open this. Oh, so she's wrote a lovely card. Or, or it should be that way. And then inside she's wrote a lovely message. Which says, Dear Tracy, thank you again so much for taking your time for getting back to me when I ask questions or leave comments. I love how you work on your cakes and cake... Oh, I love how you work on your cakes and cakes, of course. Your cakes are fun, warm and different, just like you are. So cute! I hope I get to take your live classes one day, unless we Skype. <laughs> Thank you so much, Yuka. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. Can we just look at this box? This is insane! Right, so the first thing I can see is she's put post-it notes and everything, which is so cool. So we've got a bag of something here. Which is put wasabi flavour. And I think those are like peanuts. Not quite sure. Never tried wasabi before. It reminds me of is in Cars 2 where I think we went to the cinema to watch it and I was just laughing out loud and I couldn't help it. When Mater tried, um, he thought the wasabi was pistachio ice cream. And then he just said really loud down the microphone, don't try the wasabi ice cream, it has turned. <laughs> oh, it still makes me laugh every time. Oh, wow. We've got some cool little birthday cards, but they have a hallmark. I am rubbish with geography. I'm easily surprised over the littlest things. I, I'm excited if I see a McDonald's in Yorkshire. But it's cool seeing something you recognise in a different country. How cute are these? They're just begging to be turned into sugar, aren't they? And then we've got this one as well. It's even got a little ninja star on the back of the envelope. Oh my god, right, wait, wait. I didn't even know it did this. Are you ready? Oh my god, that is so cool. I want to see if the monkey does anything. Oh my god, I can't even... I have to keep this. I can't even send it to anybody. Ready? <laughs> How cute is it? There's even one holding a little triangle. We've got what I assume is a postcard with a little kitty on. Oh, I love this one. I'm a bit of a sucker for a shaped one. It says on the back, Tokyo Souvenirs Unique Postcards on sale now at Post Office. Do they even call them? This is why little things blow my mind. I didn't realise, like, they have post offices. <laughs> like, I know you have to send your mail somehow, but are they all actually called Post Office? I don't know, I just thought they'd be called something else. Oh, and there's another one as well. We got another postcard this time with the little doggy on. Nice autumn themed. Oh my god, there is so much. What's this? Chewing gum. Super minty. I have no idea why they call it black and black. One of the popular things foreigners here to take home. So it looks like this. I'm gonna have one of these now actually because I can't there's nothing that is taking the taste away from the dentist. Oh. Oh gosh, they are strong. The packaging's really cool as well. I hope it's not like wasabi flavoured. <laughs> they blow my gob off. It's like a greyish colour as well. It smells really strong. Yeah, it's really, really strong, minty. Chewing gum. And it's working. <gasps> I love a good keyring. I used to collect keyrings. I used to have a big, massive bunch of keyrings. But Abby is gonna freak when she sees this. Can you remember when I got my T-shirt from Truffle Shuffle, the gaming one, and I said there was a yokai character on it? This is it. Look at this. How amazing is that? Could be completely getting this wrong, but I think that little red cat thing is called Jabanyan or something like that. 
but I love key rings. So it says on the, on the silver bit as well, at the bottom, Yokai watch. And that's the back. Abby's going to love that when she gets in. Oh, I've got some Hello Kitty masking tape. Now it's funny because I actually use masking tape quite a bit. I use it when I'm when I'm tracing a picture off the computer or a bit of text that's going on a cake. I put my greaseproof paper on my monitor with masking tape. Now it doesn't have to be any old masking tape. It's Hello Kitty. So these are some designs on the back there. My God, it feels like Christmas. Oh wait, I've heard of these. Where have I heard of these from? They're called Pocky. I'm sure they're them like biscuit sticks with chocolate on them. Do we have these over here? I am sure I have heard of these before. And there's another one. Ooh, strawberry flavoured ones. But they're heart shaped. Oh my god, these are amazing. Right, we've got a big box. It says, my favourite cookies. So let's see what they look like inside. Oh wow. Got a feeling these are quite expensive cookies. They come in this nice box. With the little logo on. And then there's a tin inside. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then they're sealed up. <laughs> Sticky! Oh my gosh. They're packaged even more. With a fancy little sticker. So these are Yoku Moku. <laughs> I've probably seen that completely wrong. Have a look. Oh my gosh. <gasps> what are these called? Oh, it says on them, cigar. Forgotten what these are called. They're like them sweet rolled up biscuit things. What do we call them over here? So you can see they're like rolled biscuits. You get quite a few. So that's the box. But there's also another layer underneath. This is amazing. I can guarantee these will be gone in a week. <laughs> They're not ginger snaps. It's like ginger baskets that you can get like basket shaped ones. Then there's these rolled ones and I've completely forgotten what they're called. But I shall be trying one of those later. And the tin is going to come in super handy for cake stuff. We have got some more wasabi flavour. Oh, they look a bit like breadsticks. Is it mean if I get Adam to try one and not tell him what they are? <laughs> <laughs> He's not a massive fan of spicy stuff. I might get him to try one later. Oh gosh, finally the last item and it's packaged up well. Let's see what's in here. Honestly, Yuka, you have completely spoiled me here. I should have kept it until Christmas. <laughs> I would be well happy with this on Christmas Day. I love little boxes of stuff like that. Yeah, this is really packaged up well. Oh, it's got a yokai character on the side. Oh my gosh. I know somebody who's going to freak over this. How cute is this mini mug? Oh my gosh. I freaking love it. Yuka, honestly, thank you so much for this stuff. You really didn't have to. I mean, I'm glad that you did, but there's a lot in this box. I am absolutely blown away. So she is over on Instagram. And her business name is Cookie Hound Custom Cakes Tokyo. So I'll pop her on there if you want to go and check her stuff out. See if we can scroll down a little bit. Oh my gosh. How cute is that? You can tell this is right up my street. How cool is that? Yeah, there she is at the top if you want to go and take a look. I'm going to hide these yokai things until Abby gets in later, but love it, love it. Thank you so much. Something in this box that you might like. It was sent all the way from Tokyo. <laughs> yeah! What's his name? Jibanyan. I thought it was. And there's something else as well. It looks like a mug. Woo! Jibanyan mug! Do Jibanyan on the side. Yay! Thank you. Several of these biscuits have already gone. 
and by several I mean about seven and that's just me not what I thought they were I thought these were going to be hard and crunchy but they're really really buttery and soft and these to only last a couple of days <laughs> I have to excuse my hands. For once, this is not food colouring. It's usually always food colouring, but this time it's printer ink. I was printing stuff out and it decided to explode down my leggings and down my hand. Yes, I got some on the carpet. <laughs> Sorry, Adam. I did try and clean it off. You can't see it. But we've had lots and lots of deliveries today. So the first thing is Kai has bought his very own camera. He has saved up with his own money and decided to buy his own video camera. It's very similar to the one I'm holding, but much, much newer. He used to use um, this camera that I'm filming on, but as I started filming more and more, we couldn't decide who was gonna film what, what bit when we went out. So the time came that we needed two cameras. So he's decided to get this brand new one. And I am sure he will be doing some sort of unboxing video. He has his own YouTube channel, which is linked somewhere on my channel, but I'll link it below. He already has um, like a green screen set up and a lighting set up. So now he's got his own camera and he's ordered an extra battery for it and also an SD card. And then he wanted a tripod and he wanted one of these. Now I've already had my eye on this one. I wanted one of these. I've got a Gorilla Pod, which is one of those flexible ones, but it's a nightmare when you just want to vlog something really quick. You have to bend all the legs and it's never level. I thought this would be good just to pop up and it's already level and I had my eye on one, but they were about £40. This is the Pixie Evo, which means the legs extend a little bit. They, are, they do range anywhere between £25 if they're on sale up to £40. When we were choosing Kai's bits for his camera, I actually found one of these listed on Amazon for £12. It was sold by Vodafone through Amazon and I assumed that either the picture was wrong and it was the original Manfrotto tripod, not the special pixie one. £12, he got one and then I decided if it's going to be that price, I'll get one. And I was expecting possibly them to send the original, but nope. Here it is, the Pixie Evo, £12, they have now sold out and I have a feeling somebody at Vodafone, whoever listed these, might be in a bit of trouble because <laughs> nowhere has ever sold them that cheap. So we've got Kai one and now I've got one and then I bought an extra one. So of course I did, they were £12. And the other parcel was something I bought. It is a external hard drive. I have one of these already plugged into my computer, it's a Seagate one, my other one and it's two terabytes and it's almost full. Because there is so much video footage for all the different tutorials which take up a lot of room. And not only that, but I have thousands and thousands and thousands of pictures. Because I take my cake pictures with um, a digital camera, one of these, a DSLR, and I shoot in RAW, which means you can just manipulate the pictures a little bit more than say a JPEG and the file size for the RAW are much bigger than the JPEGs so they take up a lot of room. It's almost full and I definitely needed some sort of backup because like I said there's thousands and thousands of pictures that could just be lost so I got this 6 terabyte one which was on sale at Amazon but by far the most exciting delivery today is actually this. <laughs> yeah when the Smiths catalogue comes out you know it's nearly Christmas. And yes, I'm going to open this before Abby gets home. And yes, I'm going to look at it, see what ideas I can get. And I'm sure Abby will have her pen and paper at the ready as soon as she sees it. Airbrushes, amazing for adding detail, but a nightmare to clean. One black gothic cake later. One blue sky. Leaves airbrush colour all over the place. Morning, it's just past quarter past seven on a Friday. I didn't film yesterday, um, I've just been working on these cakes. And because I've been filming them, there's just been no chance to use the camera. And I'll be using the camera again today to film more. So there's not been much cake footage this time, but hopefully you'll see me deliver them. So I'll just show you the World of Warcraft one. So this is as far as I've got with this one. It just needs two figures on the top and some trees and then it's pretty much finished. These are frosty snowy mountains for a place called Iron Forge. And then there's a castle in it as well, or some castle gates with frosty trees. So 
yeah I've sprayed this with um, pearl spray and this is going to be a tutorial so you'll see that coming soon um, and then like I said just two figures to do this morning then I've got to finish a silver anniversary cake so this is the bottom tier that's been covered in sugar crystals I already have a tutorial on my channel for that bit I don't know what I'm doing with the top tier yet I've got to decide this morning and I also baked the sponges for the naked cake so yeah I only baked the naked cakes yesterday if I'd have baked them on Tuesday with the rest of them they would have probably dried out by Saturday because they haven't got it hasn't got the ganache and the sugar paste to seal it all in so I baked those yesterday I'm probably gonna film that as well so people know how I take my naked cakes We'll just have to see how it goes because there's a lot of footage on this camera at the minute. So I've still been getting up at 6 o'clock in the morning. I've had cakes in the oven for 7 o'clock. And then they've come out again before I've even gone on the school run. I mean it sounds really productive. But I am knackered. So I'm just waiting for Abby to get up and she'll get ready. And then take her to school. Finish these cakes off which I'll be using the camera for so you won't see any of that. I'll show you when I've finished. Our first trip this morning was to Barton Grange Hotel in Preston. We set off at half eight. Half eight in the morning. They weren't ready for us setting up, so we just <coughs> left it there. Then we came home. No, we didn't. On the way back, we stopped to collect the fruit for the naked cake. We had to shop around in Tesco's, Aldi's, and Lidl to get all the different berries. Then we come home, collected the naked cake and took that to Bolton. Uh, we took that to Last Drop Village and set that up. Then we come home. McDonald's. Yeah, we went to McDonald's to get some dinner. Then I finished the anniversary cake and we delivered that at five o'clock. So it took, what, two hours? It took me two hours to finish that one. We dropped that off, went to collect some stuff for tea We've had burritos. We, we splashed out and bought some pre-chopped onions. <laughs> so Lazy. Always, oh yeah, we always buy proper onions and chop them because it's cheaper. Proper onions. <laughs> proper, proper onions? <laughs> yeah, like round ones. 
Well, they're not going to be square, are they? <laughs> Proper ones. Hey, funny. Round ones. And then... <laughs> what are you laughing at? Hall onions. Hall onions. You've, got, you've had food in your beard through the whole thing. Saving it for later. <laughs> So now I am absolutely stuffed. We even bought a double chocolate gato. No, no. From just from the freezers at Morrison's. So we're waiting for that de to defrost, and we are well. It's it's five to seven now. I am sitting down. I am not doing my emails. We've been out all day. Um, we're going to watch. 101 Dalmatians. We haven't seen that. I can't remember the last time I watched that one. You always watch all the other Disneys, like the Cinderella's and the Snow White and the Tangled. We've watched Princess and the Frog Lords, but we haven't seen 101 Dalmatians for ages. So we're going to put that on. Kids are just finishing their tea. Then we're putting the pajamas on. And this is our current view. Putting all those candles to good use and the fairy lights so I am not budging off this couch and then after 101 Dalmatians we're going to watch Doctor Who we've actually just started Doctor Who we're not really I don't know I'd say you were more of a Doctor Who person than I yeah you are because you watch Star Trek and that's yeah it's similar Doctor Who's similar to Star Trek it's nothing like but that's another argument <laughs> for another vlog <laughs> I don't really watch that type of stuff. I'd say it were more like Star Trek and I don't watch Star Trek. Why is it not like Star Trek? Because it's not. <laughs> anyway, we started watching Doctor Who from, I say the new series, it's not new because it's from 2005. Five. But we're on the <clears throat> Rose Tyler episodes with Christopher Eccleston. Yes. Um, and we're only three episodes in, so we thought we'd give that a go with the new Doctor coming out. So, yeah, that is our night, and we will probably see you tomorrow. Beer. <laughs> Did you just want to add that in? <laughs> Beer! <laughs>
I didn't have time to sign the vlog off last night because I decided to start editing it and noticed I didn't have an ending. So yeah, you'll have seen us walking around B&Q and the range, we're looking for very specific light fittings. The hallway is quite dark, we've got little up lighters and they have to be up lighters are very shallow because the door is open. So we're still on the hunt for some of them. We nipped into Blackpool because they have a bit of a better Primark than the one in Bury. And we got Kai a new coat and I also picked up this. It is Dumbo bedding. I struggle to actually find bedding because our bedroom is blue and yellow themed. And there's loads of bedding I like, but it's never in the right colour scheme. And I know if I buy it and put it on the bed, it's just going to annoy me that it doesn't match. So I found this one and it's supposed to have like the grey Dumbo's on your bed, but it is reversible. And on the reverse, it's got the blue spots and he's got a yellow hat. So I was taking that, blue and yellow. We'll have it on the spotty side and it should match. So yeah, this was from Primark and it was £18. So we shall pop that on the bed and see what that looks like. And then I've got a few things before I need to wrap up. So next week, the 13th of October, which is a Saturday, I'll be at a shop opening. It's all the way in Norfolk, four and a half hour drive for us. And it's in the Sheringham area. Now I have no other details for you as of yet because I'm just waiting to hear back. But if you follow me on Facebook, I shall pop the link on screen. I will update you on the times and what's happening as soon as I hear about it. It's not my shop, it's somebody else's shop, but I don't wanna say anything until everything's sorted. And this is the last vlog I'll be able to include it because I'm gonna be vlogging next week as well. And that's when it's happening. So it'll be too late to tell you by then. So I'll keep an eye on that Facebook page. If you are in the area, near the area, or even four and a half hours away like I am, I shall be there on the 13th of October. And then one last thing, I was actually contacted by somebody asking if I could pass on a message. Apparently this person likes to watch my videos. So here I am passing on that message. Happy anniversary guys! Make sure you have fun whatever you are doing. Tomorrow's tutorial is the gothic skull cake and I'm vlogging again next week. So you'll have another video on Monday. I shall see you then. See you later guys!